everyone what's up i hope your day is going swimmingly well i'm here at the playground right now as you can see and today let's learn something about play you know like some phrasal verbs about play that you can actually use in english conversations and i will ask you some questions so you can comment down your answers later on Stick around, stay with me until the end of this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now is your chance to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified with my new uploads. Let's get it on! The word play is a verb. It's an action word and we collocate the word play with sports like play football, play basketball, play tennis with musical instruments like play the piano, play the guitar, play the violin and with games play chess, play tic-tac-toe, play cards and there are also useful phrasal verbs with play. So, let's see what are they. Playback. Playback is when you listen to something or you watch something that is recorded. So, for me, whenever I listen to a new song, I play it back because there are parts in that song that I like. I used to play back the movie called Love, Rosie. I don't know why I really like that movie. <laughs> what about you? What have you played back recently? It could be a song, movie, or TV series. What have you played back recently? Play with. You play with something when you touch it or you move it for fun. So we say, Kids play with toys because they move the toys and they touch it for fun. He likes playing with her hair when he teases her. Some people do that, right? You play with your hair. <laughs> what about you? Did you ever play with something for fun? If so, what is it? Play at. When you play at something, you pretend to be doing that thing without exerting much effort. Play at is usually followed by gerund or verb with ing. You cannot play at being a mother. It's a lifelong commitment. So you cannot pretend to be just like a mom because it's a lifelong commitment. You really have to do it with effort. Some people are playing at running a business online. So they're just doing it but they're not putting much effort again play at is when you pretend to be doing something and you're not putting much effort into that and it is normally followed by a gerund what about you have you ever played at something before if so what was it play around when you play around you act in a silly way in a childish way and you're not being serious about what you're doing you're just playing around be serious about learning english do not play around okay some staff in the office are just playing around they're not doing their jobs so again playing around is when you're acting in a childish way in a silly way and you're not being serious about what you're doing what about you? When was the last time you were playing around? Play along is another useful phrasal verb. And you play along when you join in an activity just to make someone happy. Yeah. Or you pretend to agree to do that thing just so you can make someone happy. So you play along. Normally at the children's party, clowns play along with their audiences for entertainment. We visited our friend's house last time and we ate dinner there and 
To be honest, we didn't like the food, but we just played along and said the food was delicious. Yeah. What about you? Can you describe a time when you played along? Play against. When you play against someone, you compete with that person. You compete with that person or with a team or group of people. So you play against them. Sometimes I play board games with my husband. My favorite football team played against the best team in Europe. What about you? Did you play any games or sports? Who were you playing against? Well, there you have it. These are some phrasal verbs with play that you can actually use in English conversations. Comment down your answers to my questions and I'll post them again at the end of this video so you can check the questions and comment down your answers on the comment section. I would love to see them. Let's chat together on the comment section. And I hope this video is helpful for you. So please hit thumbs up. Share this video with your friends who want to learn English and please subscribe to my channel so you can learn when and how to use your English. See you soon on my next video.